always have that fatal attraction, that lurking sense of danger. And one of the classic ones for us, the one that's given its name to the worldwide, its volcano in the Italian Aeolian Islands. As well as being a lure for tourists, it's a pilgrimage for generations of geology students who walk the gauntlet of fumaroles, pumping out choking gases. Navigate the huge volcanic breadcrust bombs thrown out by explosive eruptions and climb the steep sides of the central crater. For most of our Plymouth University geology students, this is just a, a quick trip to a textbook volcano. But for Megan, this trip has a special purpose. It's a purpose that requires the group to go far off the tourist track, venturing off piste down the back of the volcanic edifice. These steep slopes are mantled by fallout from recent explosive eruptions. The most recent was an event in 1890 that was violent enough to rain explosive debris for miles around, and in doing so, give rise to a particular type of eruption. And it's one particular explosive eruption that Megan's looking for. Plymouth University volcanologist Paul Cole knows exactly where to look. Together, they sample the volcanic traces that the ancient eruption left behind. Um, this is a sequence of volcanic sediments from the volcano at Volcano. Um, this top section is from the most recent 1890 eruption, and this bottom section here is from the 1700s eruption. We've got a big, thick, blocky layer at the base. So we've got samples like this, which are full volcanic bombs, and they're quite got a lot of air bubbles in the centre, and a nice glassy rim at the bottom, and big cracks along the top. It tells us that in the centre, where all the air bubbles are, it was um, still expanding as it has been thrown from the volcano, as the outside had crystallised and formed like a glassy rim, and then the cracks come from where it's been expanding, and it's like broken the the edges apart. We had a shovel and we were clearing out all the messy sediments to try and get a clear view of the cross section and then collecting each individual layer and bagging them for later analysis in the labs when we get back to Plymouth. And so what are you doing all this for then? Um, it's all my angel project, so it's my final year project, my fourth year at university. So we do a four month project after our modules and hopefully they might get published afterwards. So do you want to be a volcanologist then? Yeah, I think I've always been fascinated with them since I was little. It's kind of why I got into geology. But yeah, I love them, they're cool. <laughs>